Kimberly, I forgive you. I forgive you, Kimberly. It's Morphin Time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber 2 Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! yeah! All right, you guys, I am here with the often imitated but never duplicated Jason David Frank, the original Green Ranger slash White Ranger. I like that. That was good. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of a convention king and you don't seem to get tired of it. What is it that you love so much about coming to things like this? Well, it's funny because in New York Comic Con too, they were saying the king of the con and here's the trick to it. You have to enjoy it, number one. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when I do these conventions, it's not about money. I don't get paid parents fees. I just, if you want to get something, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. I want to make sure everyone leaves happy. And I started this, this about five or six years ago with the intent and the idea of this is going to be a hobby for me, uh -huh. but it turned into a mega hobby. You know, and so sometimes I still got to put myself back into, okay, this is a hobby, this is not a job, and I love making people smile. I really do. Do you remember your audition? Because I think, as somebody was telling me, you were only supposed to have a few episode arc, yeah. and now yeah. now look at this. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it's crazy, you know, just even doing, doing the Power Rangers and I'm playing a new character named Bloodshot in the Valiant Universe, very limited characters, but I like that. Tommy was a very limited character, he's supposed to come in and out in about 10 episodes, um, I didn't look at it as, oh, I, I can't wait to turn this into 200 and something, uh, you know, episodes later and be the long existing different color rangers there are. Um, I just went in there and did it the best I could. And all of a sudden, honestly, the truth is what happened was when the Green Ranger lost his powers, people all over the world were like petitioning and telling Saban, we need, you know, kids aren't going to school. Kids aren't eating. This was a very upsetting time in my life. It, well, it was, see? And that's one of those things where I didn't understand just being that young. It's like, okay, cool, I'll move on to another show. But then they brought me back as the White Ranger. Mm -hmm. And um, to, to this day, Boom Comic Books uh, and you know Power Ranger Legacy War Games introduced a new character, which is Lord Draken, which is me. So it's another character under my belt. Uh, and Lord Draken is, exists in the Boom Comic Book series uh, in a different dimension. So it's amazing. like literally six different rangers 25 years later right. and here we are with the hardcore dedicated fans even someone taking a selfie <laughs> all right anyway important question why do you think that tommy and kimberly did not end up together well uh, kimberly wrote me that letter kimberly you wrote me that break <laughs> that letter. was the meanest yeah. coldest thing i've ever seen on a show it was i did i did do that scene and people were really moved with the emotions of that scene um you know and then then I got Catherine, which is great. But as Tommy, I was thinking, okay, look, no girls, no second girlfriend. <laughs> Why does it have to be Tommy? But uh, it was all right. I moved on. Well, Kimberly, did... I forgive you. I forgive you, Kimberly. <laughs> well, we did see you guys, you and Amy Jo, back together as in a cameo yes. in the movie. I yes. mean, when did you get that call? What was that, what was that like for you? That was great. Um, Brian up here actually got a chance. He's the executive producer. He got a chance to play me in this, in this Power Ranger game. So uh, I didn't want to lose to him. And I didn't want to win either. But uh, anyway, he called me up and said, hey, you know, with Lionsgate, we'd love to have you and Amy back in the movie. We filmed the first cameo. It didn't work out as it, as it was planned, but it is in the Blu-rays uh, uh, version of it. So I, we did two cameos. I did a cameo, long hair, brought the ponytail back oh for people to go, whoa. So that's on the Blu-ray versions. And then, um, of course, uh, you know, I cut my hair and did the second cameo. So I haven't seen Amy in 15 years. Great. And here we are doing a, a reboot movie and we have this cameo, you know? It was different because the cameo is like, just a cameo, you know? Norman, when we did the movie, it was like filming every single day, but it was great to be a part of it. Fans went crazy. People sent from around the world to theaters going, whoa, and then the little kids were like going crazy too, but then little kids that didn't know want to know who they are, so they went back and rewatched Power Ranger episodes. And then the cycle begins again, and all it begins new. again, yes. What do you think the most iconic moment from the show is? most iconic moment just filming I did a ranking of like and I just want to know if we have the same one well for the you know becoming the White Ranger was a big huge ratings I mean a huge ratings becoming the White Ranger uh, and then of course when I was the evil Green Ranger that was a that was a moment uh, for me um, but for me personally as an actor and people might not know is the first day on set you know, that we had green screen, the lights were going, I didn't know what was going on, and I didn't know who Zordon was. I never saw him before on TV. I, uh -huh. You know, and we didn't, I didn't know what a Power Ranger was. Uh, you know, Haim Saban said he's gonna make that a worldwide household name, and he did. So I didn't know all this stuff. So I do remember taking my helmet out and laying it on my, you know, the, my dressing room couch there, and I was looking at it going, wow, 
this is super crazy. And then I was concerned that the Green Ranger didn't have lines because the mouth did not move. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, am I going to have lines in this? They said, yes, you'll have lines. I was like, okay, great. So it was that, that was a moment for me that stuck out. Just seeing the suit and hearing people say that this will never make it 25 years later. Right. Here in Hollywood, and even Haim dealt with it for years and years and years here in Hollywood, say this can never make it. Even when I was doing the show, now this is never going to make it. Right. You know, and it did. So that was a, that was a moment for me. And then, uh, of course, when I was the White Ranger, it was, a, it was a big moment for, I think, kids around the world, you know? That's what I put as the most iconic yeah. moment, yes. See? <laughs> and the, the thing is, I'm proud of Power Rangers, is that we were the number one kid show in the world without social media, without Google, without Instagram. We didn't know what that stuff was. We didn't even know what a hashtag was back then. Uh -huh. You know, and we did it the old-fashioned way, and uh, which is uh, accomplishing and is proud to do something like that in the 90s where uh, to nowadays you can you know hit Instagram and get likes and get viewers. You've been on, I believe, more episodes than anybody, like well over 200, I don't even know, do you know how many? I think 230-ish somewhere, and I just found out the other day that because Power Rangers has been on so long, we actually have over 130 Rangers in the franchise, which is super crazy. The thing that's amazing with the Power Ranger Legacy War Games is that it has so many different characters in the Power Ranger universe, and this way people can actually learn about it, and it's so easy nowadays with all the technology we have. You can download this game on any of your devices on iOS and Android. And uh, it's a game, you can download it for free, check it out, and you'll be able to kind of piece in the Power Ranger history a little bit more, you know? And uh, it's great, it's great for the fans, and uh, I encourage you to download it today. Yeah! <laughs>